Hello everyone, this is the Super Wig Maker and today I am making another uh, video review of a wig sent to me by uniwigs.com. It's another La Vivid and I'm gonna walk you through everything but before I do that I wanna take you to the site and show you exactly where you get it. So you go to uniwigs.com Then you go here to La Vivid. You hit the collection and then you go to Jenny. This is the one that I got. So let's hit Jenny. So Jenny is a mono wig, which means that it has a mono top. It comes in uh, these five colors, the almond frost, the shadow chestnut like the previous wig that I have reviewed from them the creamy eyes the hazel glaze and the double frost javal whatever that is so you can see all the photos over here on the side what I got is the default one the almost frost because I wanted this to be a little bit more toned down I was between this and creamy eyes but I think creamy eyes was out of stock this is a very expensive wig this is $269 but this is because of a reason as I said this is a monotop and you can see on this photo over here that it has a huge mono uh, material mesh material on top and it's uh, ventilated everything there and it has the grip thing over here that you can see in the front and I'm going to show you in the wig so let's go back to the wig so we're back to the wig this is the uh, case it came into you open it you have the wig it has those little things um, it has the tag that I removed because I first um, I already uh, saw this it's not the first time I opened that. Jenny 02 in almond, almond Frost AL1R. It has all the instructions how to care about that, which is good to have. You get another wig brush and you get two different um, caps to, to conceal your hair. And it's black and beige. This is good. This is good that they have one more now. Now let me just take this out first. It has the netting to prevent it from tangling inside the box and it has this little weird thing that keeps it from moving inside the inside the box so that's the wig now I'm gonna show you the inside first as I always do and this is exactly what you have you have plenty of wefts in the back I think it's again almost about yeah every one centimeter you have one weft which is pretty enough you have these elastic things over here and that thing that you can actually fasten it a little bit so you make it a little smaller and have a little bit more grip uh, more you know tension sorry uh, you have the typical ear tabs that you can bend mildly don't over bend them and don't bend them too many times because I don't know the material it might break and on top you have uh, you have a little bit more uh, wefting very close to each other like it's almost like uh, let me just see if I can it's like four wefts per centimeter it's like four times more than in the back because you need to be able to conceal that and I can see that it does have a little bit of crimp um, base over here which it shouldn't have on top because it, it's not necessary so it has one material that is there to help you uh, not rub against the roughness of the lace, the mono and the knot. So you won't have to, you know, to have an itchy head. And in the front it has this little thing which is a, it's like a plastic, like a gripper. And in the front obviously you have a little bit of just the mono material. And everything ventilated and it has under ventilation which means that this strand for example is ventilated on the below below the the top part so going on the top let me just wear this on the mannequin head that I have again this is a rather small petite size and it's something that I really wish they would they would consider um, you know changing in the future these wigs are pretty small it's not for everyone but 
if they had like this size, which is medium to small, and then they also had a uh, medium large, I think it would be better for more customers. So let me just pin it. I think it's gonna be just fine. Let me just take all the hair out from beneath. And of course I'm gonna take shots outside. Now here's what. This is why this wig is very expensive. Because it has a parting, and let me just see how clear you can see that. It has a parting, and it's pretty good looking. The strands are one to two strands per knot, and the knot is a split knot, so it has this bounciness. You have plenty amount to uh, separate the hair. Like you can take apart from this side. This is where it ends, obviously. And you have a lot of wefts over here. And it goes all the way to this side. See that? And it can go really back, like much lower than what you would normally part your hair. This is like the crown and this is the front. So you see that you have plenty of parting. Let me just measure that. I should have done this before. And it goes a little bit, yeah, it's like six inches worth of mono. And as I said, this can be parted anywhere. You can see that it's pretty easy to part it. Of course, the hair might have a little bit of memory. You can see that this fringe tends to go that way because it was originally parted like that. But with extremely mild heat, because this is not mentioned as heat resistant fibers like all the wigs from Uniwigs. Um, it needs to, not all of them, but these wigs that have this kind of construction. You can use mild heat if you want to, or you can use steam, or you can use hot water. But using dry heat from your curling iron, especially those that don't have... Um, let me just show you something. This threading iron that I have has a lot of heat settings, and if you go take it to really low, it's 80 degrees Celsius. And it goes up to 200 maybe this could be possible but i don't know i think i would use uh, hot water so you can just take your wig part it wherever you want and then just use the the mild heat here and it's going to stay to that uh, uh, direction so it's pretty nice the color is very good and there is a huge difference between this and the japanese high heat resistant fibers the this hair looks more natural and it has a beautiful bend you can you can effectively just do it like that and it will still just not tangle and this is the case with all the uni wigs uh the the wigs that are constructed this way this is how they're constructed with these kind of fibers they do have some uh, high heat resistant japanese fibers uh, but they are under the uni wigs not the la vivid and also they are a little bit more cosplay ish these are those that look natural now that has a lot of blending about the color. It has a couple of uh, neutral. Uh, no, this is actually a golden, a golden brown slash blonde. It has a lot of frosty platinum, almost white highlights. And even this is not a solid color. It's actually a blend between a medium brown, golden brown and lighter golden uh, blonde. And of course it, it features this darker root area over here as you can see that it's easier to see you can see that it has this amount of fruit which is about it's about one to one and a half centimeters and then everything else starts so it's like you cut low light highlights and this is your natural color and this color here is the typical mousy brown the typical brown that most uh, light skin people usually have so this wig is really good now, you can actually really just part it wherever you want. Um, you can you can cut bangs shorter if you want to. Like, you can have this really thin, like, Asian... Uh, you know, the Chinese women usually have a, a, a fringe and it's very transparent and they just cut it over here. You can do whatever you want. You can thin this out or give it a haircut. It actually has a very beautiful haircut and hairstyle shorter in the back in the middle it has a long point so it's like an inverted bob and in the front it has shorter uh, fringe 
So I really like these fibers. I wish I could know where who creates these kind of fibers because they're so lifelike. I don't think you can do that to um, to a high heat Japanese high heat Japanese fiber wig, and it it would still just be so good. Look at that. It doesn't even need to be brushed. You can actually just work it. See that? It creates beautiful little things, bundles and stuff. And then you can obviously just brush it, but you shouldn't be brushing it with these kind of brushes. You need to brush it with the brush they, they gave you. So the wig is pretty good. I am stunned. It's really good. It's it, it's in my field because it does have a ventilated area. It's good, nicely constructed. It's not too, too thick. You can see that you can actually see the parting. And I'm going to take a couple of shots outside. And then I'm going to show you uh, the difference between this and the Japanese high heat resistant fibers to understand the difference between the two fibers. Now I'm going to show you in comparison this high, Japanese high heat resistant fiber wig and it's not equivalent obviously it does have a little bit of a skin thing over here that it's automatically parted but I really want to show you the difference um, in construction. Also the webs in the back are a little more sparse if I can say so and I want you to see the difference in the movement so let me just wear this over here and I'm going to show you. So, this is a Lavivit Uniwix wig and this is a cheap Asian wig. This is made with different fibers and this is made with the typical high heat Japanese fibers. Uh, construction wise they have nothing to do with each other. This is like you can see the wefts over here for example and the color like look at that and the color is so different but look at that you can actually sh shake this like that and it's still so nice and you can actually just brush it and it, nothing will happen. Like I, I previously just teased it so much and it's still just, it's, it's like a shake and go. You can go out with wind blowing and this wig is not going to get anywhere. Now let me just show you the high heat Japanese resistant fibers, how bad they might be. They, they, they can literally just tangle by sitting there. Look at that, it's already brushed so there's no tangling no nothing but let me keep this look at that it creates those things like it, it gets a little bit more tangled and you, you, you have a little bit of resistance when you try to brush it so these wigs from Uniwigs are are not uh, wigs that are cheap Asian wigs and then they resell them, putting a brand on that. Uh, they are much better constructed, they have better hair and they do worth the money that they put on that and the money that you will buy. Look at that, like for example, see that? If you do it like that, for example, you get a lot of tangling. Something that you don't get with this one. Like you can actually rub it like that. And the, the hair will just shake it. Look at that. I can do whatever I want. Shake it. And it's already good. It's already ready to go. Not nothing. Look, not, not even a single kink or um, like knot or anything. So. This is my honest review. This wig is pretty good. It's actually a little expensive because it has a top. But other than that, I think that uh, the La Vivid collection from Uniwigs, it's actually something that you can really take and wear without a lot of problems. So I'm outside and although it's December, you can see that we still have a little bit of sun and there's a little bit of wind. This wig is perfect. Look at the, the back of the wig. It has plenty of hair as you can see. The movement is so good. It has an inverted bob. Hold on. And of course in the front you can part anywhere. As I said, the movement is so flawless.
yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and ask me anything you want.